Hey guys, what I'm going to do today is discuss uh, how to control exactly where your robot needs to go. So uh, I'm going to firstly explore the idea of rotations and I'm going to show you what happens okay, when you move your robot forward a certain number of rotations. So let's drag the move steering block to the start block and let's just try using on for rotations with a power level of a hundred so if you don't know what these mean move your mouse on top of the icon it actually tells you its power okay so steering is zero meaning we're gonna go straight forward and the power level is a hundred and the number of rotations let's set it to um, six rotations and just see how far the robot will go and break at end is true which means after six rotations it's going to stop straight away so let's see what happens so let's test out the robot and see how far it goes from the beginning It's moved 102 centimeters. So let's do a bit of quick math here. If six rotations is the same thing as um, 102 centimeters, okay, then if we divide both sides by six, right, divided by six on both sides, then we get one rotation is approximately. And here's a really cool feature in OneNote is if you just type in the number you want to calculate, it actually does it for you. So six, 102 divided by 6 is actually 17. So one rotation is 17 centimeters. So why is that? Well, if you grab a ruler and you measure the radius uh, or the diameter of your wheel so this is the wheel of your robot and if you measure the diameter of it so from one end to the other okay this length is actually approximately 5.5 centimeters right and if you remember the formula for getting the circumference of a circle circumference is equal to pi times the diameter so if you type that into your calculator 3.14 times 5.5 what is the answer the answer is 17.27 centimeters right so one rotation is approximately 17 centimeters because that is the circumference of our wheel if the wheel turns exactly once one ro one full rotation it's going to be 17.27 centimeters now obviously there's a bit of a difference because maybe I measured it incorrectly or uh, other external factors could have influence this but one rotation is approximately 17.27 centimeters so what we want to do now is we want to try get the robot to move exactly um, 50 centimeters all right see if you can get that to work and then come back when you're done so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go 50 divided by 17 and put it in the calculator and I will get 2.94 rotations. Right, each rotation is 17 centimeters so I'm going to need 2.94 rotations to go 50 centimeters. So let's program that into our um, brick and see if it works. So I'm going to change the number of rotations to um, 2.94. Okay, 
the cool thing about um, this version of EB3 is that it takes into it accepts decimal numbers so let's put that onto our robot and see what happens so if you watch how much it's moving forward now approximately uh, approximately 50.5 centimeters alright so a little bit over but you get the idea okay thanks for watching the video guys see you next time